morning guys. We have made it here to St. John's. Had to wait to get into our Airbnb. So we thought we'd come up here to Signal Hill to spare some time. And it is absolutely beautiful up here. View to the right is St. John's. View to the left is the open ocean. Red chairs. This building here is from 1897. That's a few years ago. You can see right down there, right there are a bunch of cannons. Um, yeah, cannons. Can you tell it's windy up here? Yeah, you got people down. I had no idea Signal Hill would be that nice. Could spend hours here. We're gonna head back to our Airbnb and George Street Festival tonight. Go see the Arkells, woo! Holy shit, that concert was wild. I could not believe how many people were there and how tightly packed the crowd was. So we were up against a wall and like it got so packed that we were jammed right up against it. And I had my feet like this. And I was still getting stepped on by every single person I went by. And then it started getting really crazy and the moms were getting pushed around and stuff. So we got out of the big crowd and went off to the side. Even off to the side, it was still an amazing concert. Uh, we could see really well. There's screens everywhere, and the atmosphere is just crazy seeing all the people there. It was really an exciting experience. And now today, we are going to Cape Spear, the most eastern tip in North America. Pretty exciting. Welcome to Cape Spear. I said that wrong. Welcome everybody to Cape Spear. Lighthouse there, another one there. Let's go for a walk. Somewhere over there, maybe right there, is uh, is where we were yesterday, Signal Hill, just so you know. This is a huge underground tunnel. Look at these things. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is one of the massive cannons that they had back in the 40s. So this behind me, that tunnel I just came out of is where all the soldiers would wait and be ready for defense if they had to. This cannon would actually raise up above that concrete and then shoot out. Pretty crazy stuff. 1941 was not that long ago. So this arrow is pointing east. So this is the most eastern point in North America. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Here is the second cannon. This was a gunning post, right? Okay. This is the original Cape Spear lighthouse. 
1836 this was built and it is now getting uh, renovated. Cape Spear's been great. Now off to Petty Harbor. Just sat down here at Chief's Landing in Petty Harbor and we just met Patrick Chan, Olympic gold medalist figure skater. Lobster stuffed mushroom. Oh my god. That's got calamari, cod, shrimp, oysters, fries. Incredible food. It's getting super busy here now. Uh, not sure where we're headed next. Oh! Now here at the Rooms Museum, this massive building behind me. I'm not gonna bring my camera. If there's something exciting, I'll uh, take a phone video or something. <laughs> Pretty cool museum. The best thing was definitely the views. We have now made it to the number one destination here in St. John's. It's called Moo Moo's Ice Cream. Uh, let's go check this place out. Looks pretty neat. I love ice cream. I love Canada. I just realized halfway through that ice cream cone that my marathon training started this morning. So that's great. These must be the Skittle houses. Famous Skittle houses, one's for sale. If you wanna come buy it. I like that house. That's my favorite right there. Oh. 
All right, guys, that is all for today. What an experience having, being at the local um, Newfoundland bands concert. It was such a cool experience. Everyone was loving it and uh, their music is just so fun. And then we got screeched in and uh, looking forward to one last day tomorrow here in Newfoundland and uh, definitely have to come back after this trip. See you guys.